What's up, everybody? It's the Bipolar Prophet, and welcome to... Well, I'm not really sure what to call this, to be honest. Um, as you guys know, Old Ridge, uh, the you know, the long-running Old Ridge series that me and Mike have going, uh, you know, concurrently, me on my farm, him, him on his, uh, is a role-play series. Role-play meaning that we play characters, we try to make, uh, we try to make the farms uh, real-life places within our stories. Because of that, occasionally uh, I need stuff that I don't have access to immediately on my version of Old Ridge Farm, right? Um, and and it, right now I need straw bales. Now in the story, what I say when I, you know, when you guys suddenly you'll look in the shed and you'll see six straw bales, and then in one episode, you know, there'll be a there'll be two lorries full of straw bales parked over in the dairy yard, right? Well, what I say is that I I buy them, I have them brought in, or I go somewhere and I get straw bales. Um, now, in the game, you can't do that. You can't just go, oh, I want to buy 50 straw bales and have them magically appear or have them magically delivered. You have to actually go out and make them. And there's a lot of ways to do that. One one way to do it is to have maybe a field, and this applies if you guys are doing a story-driven game, if you want to play, maybe maybe you want to role-play just by yourself, you know what I mean? Or if you're doing videos where you want to introduce some role-play or whatever. Um and you need to do certain things that aren't strictly, you know, linear in the game where you go, you know, from harvest to bailing to, you know, to that. Uh, if you run out of stuff in the middle of a season and you need it, and it happens in real life, too. Um, you know, most dairy farms, and I can vouch for this because, I, as you guys know, I worked at a dairy farm for most of my teenage life. Um, we didn't grow wheat. We didn't grow barley. You know what I mean? We grew some grass and we grew a lot of fruit trees. Uh, we had to go buy our straw several times during the year. So... If you're doing a story-driven role play and you run out of straw in the middle of it, you know, it, it's okay. You know, you're going to have to get straw from somewhere. Now, because the game doesn't allow us to just go down to the next farm or to the nearest, you know, arable farm and say, hey, can I buy 50 straw bales off of you? You have to get them from somewhere. Now, like I said, there's there's a couple of ways to do this. One way is to keep a part of your map off where maybe you don't show people or maybe it's not, it's outside of your area of story, Right. And keep constantly growing wheat or barley or another you know, oats or whatever's on your map, a straw-producing crop, where you can just go up there, cut it, you know, uh, break it up, bale it, you know, get your get your 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 bales, um, you know, bring them back to wherever you need them to, and then just keep that process going. Now with soil mod, it's a little tricky because obviously if you have a soil mod map, you know, you're going to have to take care. It's one more thing you're going to have to take care of, but it's not technically part of your area of story right and i hope this is making sense uh it's just an idea i had i said you know i, I realized that i was getting real low on straw bales on old ridge and i'm like i need more straw so and i have to go make it so i thought i'd show you guys how i do it um so that's one way keep one area of your map sort of off you know that maybe isn't connected to your story or whatever and you know constantly plant it and harvest it and bale it you know and then you always have straw and then you can just if you're making videos you know or if you just want to play role play you know yourself which is fine too um you could always just say well i went up the road to get you know more straw like i do the other way to do it is the way that i'm showing you now and now i could do it the first way where i just keep a part of the map off you know off the sort of out of the story or whatever the problem with me and that is is that soil mod it adds more work to something that i'm not featuring in the story you got to realize that for a story driven video series like mine like mike's a lot of it's what you see now if you look around here this is another uh this is another save game of old ridge it is my version of old ridge with all the map edits and everything but a lot of things are missing as you can see the home fields here aren't combined not all the buildings are you know some of the placeable buildings or none of the placeable buildings actually are in place you know what i mean it, you you I like to think of Old Ridge as a set. You know, when they make a movie, right? And you see, the parts you see in the movie are all, you know, exactly the way they're supposed to be. But if you looked behind it, it would be two by fours and, you know, sandbags and things holding it up. That's kind of how I look at Old Ridge when I make videos. It's sort of a set. So I have to go and, you know, and, 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 and change things and do things behind the scenes so that that, the, the part of Old Ridge that you guys see is always exactly what I want to show you. So this is another version of Old Ridge. It's the same Old Ridge. It's my edited version. Uh, it's just a different save game. And this is how I get bales. And this works for grass bales as well. It doesn't have to be straw. Um, it could be grass. It could be... I'm using square bales because, well, if I'm going to buy them from somewhere, I'm probably going to buy squ square bales. But you can do it with round bales as well. It works either way. What I do is I start another save game 
in this case on old rage um you know without any without any you know the the extra stuff or anything uh you know old rage comes with these two fields already grown they're straw producing fields you can see i've already uh cut raked and bailed one field i have to do the other one um and all I'm going to do is I'm going to go around, I'm going to collect the bales. It's really simple. Now, obviously, you guys all know how to harvest. You all know how to, you know, rake. You all know how to bale. I don't need to show you guys that. Um, we're going to collect these bales. And then I'm going to show you the real meat of how this actually works. I hope. I hope OBS is going to cooperate with me and allow me to switch from the game to my desktop. Because we're going to need to go into the uh, into the save game uh, XML and make some changes. So, anyway. So, let's go ahead and pick up these bales. Now, I will say this. It's not a bad idea to always maybe have a save game of your original save, you know, of, of whatever map you're playing on that you want to do with this with, uh, sort of in reserve somewhere. Now, I don't do it because I don't want to have to replant these fields. I don't... I forget how to turn this thing on. I hardly ever use it, so I forget how to turn it on. It is on, right? All I have to do is go... Yeah. I, I, I never use this thing, so I never, I never really know how I'm supposed to use it. Um... I don't save this when I'm done because then I'd have to come in, I'd have to plant, I'd have to, you know, I'd have to do all the soil mod stuff and everything. And I don't want to do that. If I was going to do that, I would just keep a part of the map off the set, as it were, you know, in my original, my, my, you know, primary Old Ridge save um, and do it that way. But so what I do is I'll, I'll load up a new, you know, a new save game down in the, you know, save game 20 or whatever. I'll harvest the fields. I'll rake them, I'll bale them, I'll collect the bales, and once I'm done with it, then I don't have to save it. So, and then when I come back the next time and I need more bales, I can just do that process all over again, it'll reset back to its sort of default position, and off you go. Now, I will say this, I do pay for these bales. Now, you can see I have $690,000 up there. How did I get that? I used a money cheat mod. I needed to buy a big square baler. I needed to buy, you know, a tractor that would haul it. I needed to buy this thing. Um, so I cheated in the money. Again, it's, it, it's, it's for me, because this is a story-driven role play, I don't consider this cheating. I consider this, you know, acting. This is part of the setup of the, of, you know, the video series that I need to do. So, but I will tell you this, I do pay for the bales. Um, I, I actually research what a straw bale, you know, costs in the UK. It's about, I think from my, from my recent research, I think we're looking at about $30 a bale. So however many bales I get off of this field, um, off of these two fields, I will deduct $30 a bale from however much money I have on my primary save game. And that covers the cost of the bales. Now, I could not do that. You know, you're not, you don't have to do that. I just do it to keep the story sort of, you know, the, the, the continuity of the story correct. Because obviously you're not going to get these bales for free. Unless you have a good friend, you know, that's an arable farmer that has a ton of bales kicking around that, you know, they can give you a few. Okay, so you've picked up your bales. Now, this is why you want to do this on, on, the, on another save game of the map that you want to use the bales on. It, there's a very simple reason for that. I have tried this by going to other maps and, and moving bales. The, the GPS coordinates that you get down here on the mini-map, and if I can... I, I don't know if you guys will be able to see my mouse or not, but uh, these GPS coordinates you get down here, don't trust them, guys, okay? At least not for me. They're not the most accurate thing in the world. I have gone over to my respawn point, and we'll go over there right now so I can show you what I'm talking about, and tried to get the exact GPS coordinates gone to a different map, made up a bunch of bales, done the process that I'm going to show you in a minute here, um, you know, and, and tried to put them in the exact GPS coordinates that I got from this area and had bales everywhere. Bales on top of the dairy shed, bales in the silo, bales, you know, everywhere. Um, so if you want to do this and you want to do it as easily as possible, do it on another save game of the map that you want to use the bales on. That's, that's the best thing I can tell you. So what I'm going to do is... And you can do this, I mean, you can do this with a thousand bales, you know what I mean? If you want to move a thousand bales, move a thousand bales. Um, the other piece of advice I will give you is, whatever, you know, if you start a new save game on the map, on the same map that you want to use the bales on, and don't do any other bailing. Don't have bales in a field somewhere, don't have bales, you know, in a, in a shed somewhere, because you're going to get confused on what bales you need to move. It's easier if the only bales on the save game are the bales you actually want to move from that save game to your primary save game. I hope that made sense. Okay, so, is it O? I never remember. 
So you get to where you want to drop off the bales, and you just drop them off. And you don't have to use this thing. You can use the, you know, you can move them by hand. You can auto stack them however you want to do it. For me, like I said, this is all behind the scenes stuff. I want to do it as quickly as possible. I don't care how it looks. You know what I mean? So I don't care what I got to do as long as I get the bales over here. Okay. Now, can I pull them out of here? Uh, oh, no. Is, is it O again? O to drop. Yeah. I never remember how to use this thing. I don't do this all that often. So, uh, No, 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 no. No. Don't be making a big mess. There we go. Okay. And O again? O again. Okay. So you've got, so you've cut your fields. You've raked them if you rake them. You've baled them. You've picked up the bales, however you pick them up. And you've brought them over here now to wherever you want to put them. I suggest put them in your spawn point just because you'll know where they are, right? And because you're using the same map on a different save game, the GPS coordinates are going to be the same. When I move these from this save game to my primary save game, they're going to be in that exact same spot because they're the same map. That's very important. Okay, so let's shut that off. Let's go, and now this is you do have to save it here so that you can get your... Um, you can get the next part. But after you're done, you can just delete the save game and you don't have to keep it hanging around. So we will quit out of this. And we will quit out of this. And hopefully this works and we will move the profiler out of the way. Now, what you want to do now is you want to go to wherever you keep your folders. Uh, you want to go into your documents and you want to go down to my games and farming simulator 2015. And this was, oh, I don't remember now what save game this was. Was it 20? I think it was 20. Uh, and you want to go into, well, first of all, we're going to go into career save game just to make sure, because I don't remember uh, if <laughs> if this was actually save game 20 or not. It'll tell me. Uh, save game 20 as soon as I find the map. Uh, map 1. Nope. It wasn't save game 20. Okay. Save game 19. I thought it was save game 20. I tend to do it on 20, so I remember. But you know BP, scattery as hell, can't remember anything. Uh, Old Ridge Farm. There we go. Okay. So what you want to do now is you're in, your, you're in your save game. Find whatever save game it is. And hopefully you remember better than I do. And you want to go down to vehicles. Because remember, anything that moves on your map, whether it be an animal, whether it be a bale, whether it be a tractor, a tip, or whatever... We'll go into vehicles. That's just the way it's set up. So you want to go into vehicles. And I would suggest using Notepad++. It's free. You can Google Notepad++ and you can download it. It's a, it's a tiny download. Updates about once a month. It's really good. It's a lot easier to use than Notepad for me anyway. And I would suggest you, you probably could use it too. So now you're presented with this. And I'm just going to get this out of the way. So now you're presented with this. And you're thinking, oh, that's a lot of numbers. Yes, it is. But remember... This is a save game that you just started. There's nothing on the map but the default stuff and whatever you had to buy to do this process with. So if you scroll down, and don't worry about any of this stuff, if you scroll down, you will start to see things like your tractors and whatnot, right? So if you keep scrolling down, you will see this. You will start to see things that say item, class name, bail, file name, and all of that with some coordinates of where they are, 80, blah, 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 blah which way they're rotated and all of that. And if you have a uh, bail extension mod in, if you have bail, the other a piece of advice I want to give you, and I forgot to say this while we we're actually still in the game, use the same mods that you're using in your primary save game, especially if you're using bail extension, because you want the bales to be ready to go when you bring them from your, you know, your offset, say, save game into your primary save game. That's another piece of advice I can give you. So you scroll down here and you start to see things called bales. Now, remember, if you did this, you know, if you followed my directions and you didn't have any other bales anywhere on the on the map, you know, no bales in a shed, no bales in a field anywhere, these will be the only bales you need to grab. So what you want to do is you want to start here. On the outside of item, you want to cut all the way. You want to drag your thing all the way down to down here at the last bit. And, and again, if you're, if you're using... Be, uh, bale extension you're going to have things like fermenting time and stuff like that make sure you grab every bit of this everything that says bale um uh, but not high pressure washer why is that down there Ugh. now i know there's a way to do this where you can grab all the bales you can grab everything that says bales and not high you know what i don't care 
I'll just move it with the high pressure washer. I don't know why that's there, but that's fine. So anyway, grab all of this stuff again, right? Down to there. Make sure you grab all of the, you know, the 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 open brackets and the closed brackets and all of that. You want to copy it. Right click, copy. Now what I do is I put it in a notepad just so it's easier for me so I know where it is. And to be honest, I could just get rid of that that cursor now. Uh, that's fine. I'm not so worried about that. Close that. Close that. And then go back in to your primary save game, which, again, will be in documents, most likely, unless you've you know completely changed your, your uh, file structure. And for me, I know it's save game two, so we will go down to vehicles, and we will open this with, it's the same thing. Again, anything that moves on your map, bales, tractors, anything, needs to go from needs to go in your vehicle folders. This also includes animals. So edit with Notepad++. Yes, please. And then you want to go down here, and you can pretty much put this wherever you want. I believe I put it at the very bottom uh, last time. I don't know. It's a habit of mine to put stuff at the bottom. Now here's here's all the bales that I already have. You know, um, mixed in with some other stuff too. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, I think I'm going to put it down the bottom. Uh, no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep it with the, I like to, once you start seeing things like heap and things like that, I like to keep it up with the actual vehicles. So when you start seeing vehicle and all that, um, probably the last vehicle you see is probably where you want to put it. So, and in this case, I'm going to put it right under bales. And you can put it wherever you want, I think. I don't think it makes any difference. But if you do put it somewhere and it screws up, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I've done this a bunch of times and I haven't had an issue. So, okay. Uh, let's see. We are going to put it. We're going to put it. Uh, we're going to put it right here underneath this. So, just make a little space and click paste. Boom. Done. And there's all the bales and the pressure washer in this case that I collected in my offset save game. Now all you got to do is sa file, save. Now I will say this. Make a backup of your vehicle's folder. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Well, I can't. No, I can't do it now, can I? What I can do is this. I can undo this. Make a backup. So just get out of this for a minute and i'm sorry i'm kind of all over the place here make a backup so copy this throw it on your desktop somewhere just in case you screw up you have a clean version of your vehicle folder anytime you make any changes in your xml of any kind you should always make a backup just in case it doesn't work you can always just drop in the clean one and say, okay, I'm back. I, I don't want you guys blaming me if all of a sudden all your vehicles disappear. You know what I mean? I can tell you I've done this numerous times and it's always worked. Okay. So anyway, so now back into documents, back into, uh, where the hell is it? I always lose this. My games, farming simulator, save game two, down to vehicles, open that back up with notepad plus plus. And we'll go back down below bales again, wherever that ended, right there. Or, no, we want to get this one, actually. So this one, right here. And we want to... Is it not going to let me... Oh, really? i got to copy it again? Copy? Oh, excuse me, I'm snuffly as hell today. Why can't I paste this? Let me paste it. What's going on here? Why won't it let me copy? Thank you. I have too much stuff open up here, too. I'm going to close some of these tabs. Close, 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 close. That's one thing about Notepad++. It'll keep everything you've ever opened open, pretty much. <laughs> Sometimes it can get a little confusing, so. Okay, you're going to let me paste now? Thank you. Paste. Done. So there's all the bales you made, right? And they're going to be in the exact same spot that you put them in your offset save game. I hope this isn't too confusing for you guys. And of course, you can always leave me questions if you have them, and I'm sure you will. Because I, I had this all going in my head, and then you know me, it gets all scattery and everything. So anyway, so save that, right? Close that. And remember, you've made your backup of your vehicle's uh full, uh, vehicles file. So if it doesn't work, you can just drag that one in and try again. Okay. 
So now we need to go back into the game. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I don't know how long this is going to, sometimes this game can take a very long time to load. So now you want to go back in to your primary save game from the to the to the game that you want to put the bales in that you want to use the bales in now i know you're probably thinking to yourself well jesus bp this is a lot of work wouldn't it be easier for me to just keep you know a field off somewhere and oh and cut it and harvest it all the time yeah sure you can absolutely do that that that's completely up to you i do it this way because of making videos occasionally i will you know because old bridge is not a massive place Occasionally, I'll have to drive by, you know, areas, and a lot of times, if I want to keep a field always with weed in it or whatever, and I drive by it in what I'm calling winter at the time, it's not going to be very realistic. This is why I do it this way. You can do it however you want. If you want to, maybe you want to keep that bit of, of code, right, that bit of XML in a notepad, and you can just drop it in whenever you need bales. That's another way to do it. I don't do it that way because... Even though this is technically offset and it's all set up for me, I still like to think that I'm, you know, I'm putting in the work to get the bales. I, I know that's silly, but that's just how I am. So we're going to career. We're going to my my primary Old Ridge save game, the one with 213 hours on it. The one that I should point out of 213 hours since the rebuild. Oh, I easily have 500 plus hours on this map uh, since it came out, so. It's going to take a minute to load. I, I could stop the video here and start it again, but I never know what OBS is going to do with that. I never know if OBS is going to lock up or if it's going to be like, oh, I don't want to work today or, you know, nope, you recorded all you're going to record today. I quit. It, it does that for me on occasion. Um, I'm only using OBS so that I could switch back and forth to my desktop. Uh, and hopefully this works and hopefully I didn't just spend the last half an hour talking to myself. Um I just was, I was thinking about this. I was like, oh, you know what? I need bales and I need straw bales and I need to go make them. And, you know, I, I just thought that you guys might be interested to know this is sort of a behind the scenes look, right? It's behind the set. You know, when you go to, say you go to a play, maybe you're in a school play, maybe you're in a community play, you know, or whatever. And you go, you know, you go to the first rehearsal and they're, you know, the art department or whatever is working on the sets. They're painting the buildings, they're painting the scenery, you know, doing all that stuff. And you see the outside and it's all very pretty, right? And you see the back and it's just, you know, an inch of cardboard held up by two by fours and some sandbags, you know, with wires and lights and everything all over the place. That's kind of how I look at Old Ridge when I'm doing stuff like this. It, it's, it's really a movie set. It's really, you know, a, a, a play set or whatever. Um, I do like to think of it as a real living place, but when it comes to the story and I need things, you know, sometimes you have to go outside the, the normal linear mode of the game. Now, if I wasn't using soil mod, I could, I would probably do it the first way I, I talked about where I just keep a field, you know, somewhere off, um, you know, and just keep planting it and harvesting it constantly. That way I always have straw. But with soil mod, like I said, that adds a whole other level of work. You know what I mean? You got to, to to get enough, you know, straw to make it worth all this. You'd have to, you know, you'd have to fertilize it and water it and lime it and all the other things that it needs, you know, on occasion. Uh, and it's just one more bit of work that I don't want to do. This, although this is a lot of work, it's actually easier. And once you do this a few times, it goes really quickly. So. And again, you may never have to do this. You may never want to do this. I just thought it would be interesting to show you. It's a little behind the scenes. We've been on Old Ridge a long time. It's a long movie, right? And I thought it might be time for me to show you some of the behind the scenes stuff that you guys don't get to see. Like how long it takes my Old Ridge to load. <laughs> and I'll tell you why it takes so long to load. There are a ton of scripts on this map. All added by me, I should point out. There, I have a lot of mods with a lot of scripts, you know, and the Abacus, it does the best it can. Let's put it that way. So now, if this worked, <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure it did, we should be able to tab. Uh, do I have a tractor in the vicinity? I do. So now, remember, this is my primary save game. And if I look over here and, and excuse the lag, and there are our bales, right? Simple as that. In the exact same spot that we put them in the offset uh, or, you know, behind the scenes uh, save game. Same rotation, same place, exactly the same place. They're real bales. They work. You can come pick them up. You can do this with as many bales as you want. Um, you know, 
And there you go. And that's really all there is to it. You guys can pause the video if you need to see what I did at certain spots or whatever. If you have any questions, you can leave them. I know this was scattery, as everything I do is, you know. BP drinks way too much coffee. I just thought you guys might be interested to see a little behind-the-scenes stuff here on Old Ridge Farm. And again, make sure always, if you do anything with XML, if you do anything with your map, make a backup. You can back up the whole map. You can back up your whole save game folder. I would recommend that as well. I have save game folders all over the place. I'm so paranoid. I have save game folders on flash drives at other people's houses. <laughs> Because I'm so terrified I'm going to break this map one day and not be able to get it back. I can't have that. Always make backups. And again, if you do this, do it at your own risk. You know what I mean? Um, make backups and don't blame me if it doesn't work. But if you try it, you know, let me know how it worked out for you. Hopefully this helped you guys. Hopefully you found this interesting. If you have any questions or anything like that, always, as always, you can leave them in the comments. Questions or concerns or complaints about anything. Um, you, know, you can hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Steam. Hit me up on Facebook. The links to all that stuff are in the description of every video. Uh, thanks so much for coming. Thanks for watching. And thanks for making me a part of your YouTube day. And this is the Bipolar Prophet saying, see you later.